it is pleasure to have you all here on this uh, awful day, but it is also a day of aspiration and hope. To live in a kingdom of fear means that people will not sleep at night because they fear the retributions by the uh, regime. To be in the kingdom of, uh, of torture means that you are likely to be taken into custody, into the tortured dungeons under the, uh, under the ground, and be subjected to most horrific t torture. To be in the, to in the kingdom of silence means that you have no right to say anything. Means that your mouth will be sewn and you, if you speak a word, you are likely to be tortured and even killed. And this is what happened to many of our colleagues inside the torture dungeons. That's why our people in Bahrain have decided that enough is enough to keep a king, the kingdom of fear, the kingdom of torture, army invading the country. Bahrain today is under the Saudi occupation. Unfortunately, we thought that the UK would take a positive stance. They would support the pro-democracy activists. Instead, they stood against history and stood beside and alongside and in support of the murderers, the torturers, the despots, the tyrants, the dictators. That is a historical mistake that the UK will not be able to justify morally, ethically, or politically, now or in the future. And uh, the last point I would like to say, that despite all these forces, the counter-revolutionary forces that are playing havoc in Bahrain, the people have decided to stand up. They will reinvigorate their revolution uh, at, on the second anniversary of the 14th February revolution. Sumud, which means perseverance. So I hope in solidarity with the Bahraini people, you could join us in this spirit. Thank you for joining us today. With us... Shia brothers and sisters were all Bahraini. These are one of the slogans, one of the many slogans we had in Bahrain. And today, today we have Sunnis and Shia that continue to be tortured in the Bahraini jails. And we stand in solidarity with them.